Hi, this is Drake, and today we are talking about recording groups on Martin or Onyx uh, lighting software. So let's dive right in and talk about groups. Groups can be very, very useful when programming uh, any rig, from a small rig to a large rig. Uh, the groups allow you to select fixtures without having to type it in on the number pad, on the console, or on the software. You can just click what groups you want, and we're going to dive in and show you how to do that. Okay, groups are very, very simple. Um, as you saw in some of our previous videos, we have our fixtures here in our patch. Uh, we have one through eight of our LED PARs. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a group of just these LED PARs. And so we're going to go here to our control surface and we're going to type one through eight, enter. Now, as you saw previously, we selected all eight fixtures. So we're actually going to click record. And up here, we're in our groups and presets window. So these are, this is our groups window up here. And then we're not storing anything from the programmer. We're just storing fixtures at this point. So no, no intensity, no color, nothing, just the fixture for us to be able to select it later. So we're going to store that right here. Group number one, great. We're going to clear our programmer so nothing else can be uh, done. And then we're going to click edit, click on that, and we're going to type LED. Let's do this again, LED par. Perfect. That's our group. Now, a lot of times what I like to do is I like to lay out all the fixtures that are on my stage as individual groups, as well as have the giant group. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. Or I'm going to show you what I mean. We're going to select fixture number one, and we're going to record that as a its own group. We're also going to select fixture number two, record that. Sorry, record that as its own group. Number three, and so on. Okay, now that we have all eight of our fixtures, we can edit them all. I'm just gonna edit one, LED par one. And I would do that all the way across the board. Now, as you can see, if I select my number one group, which has all eight fixtures in it here, it goes ahead and selects all eight of my fixtures for me. And you can see that here. Sorry, I'm scrolling on this thing. Or you can select individual fixtures. Say these are only the fixtures that I want to control. Then I can go down here and control them. So in previous videos, you saw me select a fixture by typing in the number here. At one, pulls up my programmer, I can control it. As you can see, I typed in at one, it selected my first LED par because that's the ID that I gave it. So the idea with groups is, is that you don't have to be using this as much. You can just select your fixtures here or select your group of fixtures here without having to type anything in and it'll automatically throw it into the programmer for you. If you have multiple groups of fixtures, say you have eight LED PARs and eight conventional lights and eight movers, you could select all three groups and control things like intensity on all of them quickly and efficiently. This is key to be able to program fast in your rig. You need to set up your groups. Okay, that was a basic video on how to record groups and why we want to record groups. If you want to see more about what we're doing, make sure to check out our other videos.